Are those fishies? I love fishies. Ooh. Do not. Oh. Hello, my name is Sasha, and welcome to my very first time playing Baldur's Gate 3. I know nothing about this game other than that it's a turn-based strategy RPG game based off of D&D. And if that's accurate, I have no experience with a game like this, which makes me nervous and excited. But it looks right up my alley because I'm a huge fan of fantasy settings. Um, and it's been a really long time since I've been able to play an RPG game totally blind. So that makes me very, very excited. And from what I'm seeing right in front of me, looks like maybe we're in for some open world peaceful exploration. Right off the bat maybe. But I don't know. Enough of my yapping. I want to get started. I must do. Okay. Oof. I got a little bit of a chill. Yeah, it's actually looking quite disturbing. I'm seeing some people hanging. They maybe do they, they look kind of skinned. I don't know. Oh, there's some peaceful music coming back. Lovely. Okay. I noticed these guys. I don't know what their deal is. Maybe I'm going to meet them. I think I can create my own character. Like, I don't think it's like a default character. I think I can customize it. So I love to do that. I spend a hefty amount of time on that. Okay. A narrative experience. Placing story before combat. Oh, so there is like story. I'm going to go with the balance for now. Maybe if it ends up being too easy, I can bump it up, but... I'm not that skilled. Second. Um, is this like a little intro? Kind of telling me what the story is? Ooh, that's a creepy shadow. Is he wearing shoes or are those just his footsies? Oh. It's like a pod. Oh, manicure. Those are shaped. Are those fishies? I love fishies. Doesn't look like a fish. Ugh. Looks like a worm. Ugh. Oh, he's got some long tendrils. Is she like an... She looks like an orc. Oh. Ooh, not about that. Is this me? Am I also in a pod? Ooh. Do not. Oh. I got chills on my face. Who are you? This game has given me like shivers from the beginning because of like things just, just like I wasn't expecting when it first took me to like that underground nasty gate place. And now I have a wormy with teeth in my whatever. Oh. Okay, so there's elf, tiefling, dro. Human, halfling, or yeah, halfling, half elf, dwarf, Githyanki, is that right? A gnome, dragonborn, Dovakin, Dovakin, no singos varing, half orc. Okay, half orc? There's not just regular orc. The most common face in 
Faerun, humans are known for their tenacity, creativity, and endless capacity for growth. Okay, so it'll give us a little thing on each. With ethereal countenances and long lifespans, elves are at home with nat nature's power flourishing in the light and dark alike. Descended from devils of the nine hells, tieflings face constant suspicion in Faerun. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm assuming that a lot of these things I'm not saying right, and I'll um, get corrected later when I am talking to people, I'm, I think. Thankfully, their arcane abilities make them natural survivors. Dro. So he looks kind of like a dark elf. Driven to the Underdark, most Dro have adopted a ruthless pragmatism. While the Lothsworn delight in the goddess evil tenants, the Seldarine reject her attempt to overthrow the leader of the Elven Pantheon. They look a little funny. I'm open minded, I'm just saying. Maybe it's just this one in particular. With a Ruth with a ruthlessness born from mind flares enslavement, Githyanki ride the astral sea atop red dragons, bringing their silver swords and psionic might to bear against any trace of the illithid menace. Illithid? Lithid? Ah, uh, adorable and unyielding as their homes of stone. Dwarves are some of the finest warriors, miners, and smiths of Faerun. I like how, like, no matter what game you're playing, or, like, what series, elves and dwarves kind of carry the same characteristics regardless. They're always, like, the dwarves are always, like, homes of the stone, great warriors and miners and smiths. And then elves are, like, nature magic that's kind of cool half elf oh yeah yeah he might be my guy curious ambitious and versatile half elves are welcome everywhere but struggle without a community to call their own Aww. okay bob you <laughs> got the bob okay bayangs Small yet capable, halflings prefer the comforts of home and earth, but their natural luck and dexterity make them fine adventurers. Okay. Slay. Aw, gnome. Got a bow. He looks chipper. Small, clever, and energetic gnomes use their long lives to explore Faerun's brightest corners and the darkest depths. Oh, okay, and then it says here. Proficiencies, simple weapons, and crossbows, longswords, rapiers. Short swords, armors, light armor, okay. Dragonborn. So, Dragonborn literally is like dragon. And you're born. Like, you are a dragon. Okay. A proud race that values clan and, s clan and skills above all else. Once enslaved by dragons, they strive to be self-sufficient, not wanting to be holden to anyone. Not even the gods. Okay. Creatures of intense emotion, half-orcs are more inclined to act than contemplate, whether the rage burning their bodies compels them to fight, or the love filling their hearts inspires acts of incredible kindness. Aww. I love a good orc. I think I'm more most drawn to the half-elf. Myself, me personally. I don't know if... I don't know if elves are like... Tall, but I'm fairly tall and fairly lanky as well, so I feel drawn to the elven kind, but also being a human on earth, I am human, so half elf kind of. I feel like it suits me. I don't know if I should be, if I should like base it off myself or if I should create somebody totally different, but I guess we'll see. Interesting. Oh, body type. Oh, okay. I see. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Is this a voiced protagonist or no? I don't know that either. 
so that's interesting. Okay, proficiency, simple weapons, hand crossbows. Long swords, repairs, are they good at magic? Is there magic? I think this, there's magic, right? Saving throws against being charmed and magic can't put you to sleep. This is interesting. Um. Okay. Wait. Sub race? I half elf? Oh, okay. That's so cool. I love how in-depth that is. Like, that's not something that you can choose in, like, other games. That you can be, like, a half... Like, you can choose whether or not you want to be, like, half of something. I'm gonna be a... High half elf, I think. Sure. What is this? You may change your cantrip. The music is really nice, by the way. You may change your cantrip by selecting another one from the wizard spell list below. This cantrip doesn't use a spell slot and can be cast at will. It uses your intelligence as its modifier. Okay. I. I don't know what a good option would be. My first instincts were fire, bolt, or bone chill. Since fire bolt was selected, I'm gonna go with that. I feel like you can't go wrong with a little fire. Huh. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Class rogue. Okay, so now we can kind of choose. So we can be a barbarian. Oh, strong boy. A bard. Cleric. Oh, I guess I should read them. The strong and base embrace the wild that hides inside them. Keen instincts, primal physicality, most of all an unbridled, unquenchable rage. You know music is more than a fancy. It is power. Okay. So this would be more of like a religious class. Oh, druid. That could be cool. Yeah, I can throw leaves at my enemies. Come on, leaves. Druids channel the elemental force of nature and share a deep kinship with animals. Nice. Mastery of wild shapes allow them to transform into beasts from all over the realm. Monk. I'm thinking I'm going to be something more in the magic class, so I'm going to skip over the other classes. I think I'm going to go with wizard. I don't really know why. But what was this? Invite. Oh, invite friends. Okay. I'm going to edit my appearance. I think I might try to like vaguely... Um, make the character after my likeness. We'll see how well that works. I like the face preset. I hope I can kind of adjust those though. Scarring. That looks kind of gnarly. Ooh, poor thing. Actually, I kind of like it though. I might go back for it. Maturity. I am fairly young, and I do wear sunscreen, so I'm going to make myself young. Freckle quantity. I do have a little, I do have some freckles. Alrighty, I don't know how much of that I kept in, but I think... I think this, this is my character. Maybe I should make the eyes a little bit more different, actually. No, you know, I like it. I like that it's subtle. Okay, proceed. Do I have to name it something? Maybe I'll do that next. Okay. Oh, name. He can be Sasha after myself. Do I change any of this or no? Okay. You need a guardian. 
What is this? Who am I making? You need a am I just making a guardian? Okay, so I made I made a couple different options the for my guardian, I guess. It's cool that I get to make this guardian. I maybe they'll die right away, I don't know. But I made a tiefling option. She looks pretty cool. I wanted something somebody that um isn't like too boring. Cause my character looks pretty plain. Cause I look pretty pl pretty plain. So I made a tiefling and I made a human. They both look really cool, so I'm kind of like I don't know who to choose between. But because like I'm a my character is a half human, half elf, I feel like I might as well go with tiefling. I'm gonna diversify the characters a little bit. Yeah. And I think she looks cool. Okay. Venture forth. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we're back to this guy that shoved a worm at my eye. So rude. Shoved a worm up my eye and just floated on out of there. Oh, maybe he wants more. What was even that? Hello, sir. Is it a dragon? A dragon! Oh. That doesn't look like a dra Ooh, that's not a dragon. Oh no! He said... And he got him! Oof. a tentacle ship. There are the dragons. <gasps> oh, those are good dragons. Yeah. You get them. Oh, he's like getting hurt when things are happening. I'm in there. Ugh. I don't want to be in the pod. He had a slobbery mouth. That was cool. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Uh. 
Oh, we're in a tentacle ship? Don't love that. Scared me. We're back to the little peaceful bit. The loading screen. It's me! Oh, I look so cute. Why'd they give me forehead wrinkles? Jump? How do I jump? No! I'm joking! Go away! Okay. Basic movements. Click the ground or hold left mouse to move forward. Oh. Best be on my way. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Someone else got out. Oh, okay. Got another center camera. You can always focus your camera. Other Left mouse button. Oops. Double click portrait. Sorry. What? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Wonder who's inside. Made it out. Oh wait, nursery. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Perfect. Love a good parasite in my eye. Skill check. Ooh. Some dialogue options require skill check. A dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character skill add a bonus to this roll. Okay. La la let's roll the dice. Eleven. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Let's crumble it. Retrospectively, should have known better. Ew. Camera rotation. Rotate your camera to get a better view of your surroundings. Use middle mouse button E or Q. Aha. I don't know who was speaking to me, but I would probably it not. Oh, goblin. Don't talk to me like that. Stop talking to me, a child is scary. Hello? Kind sir? I've come to investigate. Oof, he doesn't appear to be doing well. Oh my god, his brain is out! Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return, they return. A newborn, born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Ooh. Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. I don't know about that. Break the skull? Ah. 
Oh gosh. I need a 10. Roll! Oh no. Noah. Sad. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. I could tell you the brain's unusual. I'm gonna gently pry the brain from the skull. Nice! Yeah! Oh. One thing about me, the don't lifts from the skull. Don't love brains. This is an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. I'm a wait, mutilate the brain. I just might Twenty to 15. Come on, 20. Oh, that's so infuriating. I don't like that it's wiggling around. Ugh! Ugh. Ooh, not about that. Okay. Sorry? Oh, did... Me personally didn't love that. Let's go back to you. Okay, well you had nothing. <gasps> oh, hello dragon! Come to save me? Oh, are you the lady that was in the pod too? Okay, Acro. This is your end. I didn't do anything. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> What is this? Skvar, you are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. So what, now we're friends? And just like that? What makes you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. That doesn't not In ideal. Days, we will be geek. Mind geek. flayers. Geek. We're turning into mind flayers. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Okay. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First. We exterminate the imps. imps. Then we find the helm and take That's what those little flying guys are, imps. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Material plane. I'm trying to connect all these dots. Ooh. Didn't love that. Ooh, they're nasty. You go here. Uh, can you also attack this one? No. What about this one? No. Okay, go here. I guess. Survival is all that matters. Um, what can I do? Topple. Do I have like a s firebolt? 
is this? Shove. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do one on you. And then, can I do one on you? Does it work like that? Are they dead or no? Oh, snap. No! I didn't kill either of them. Okay. Oops. No! Oh my gosh, that was scary. What lies within? <laughs> I meant attack him. Okay, there. <laughs> Not surge. Okay. You... Come over here. Okay, perfect. Whatever. Never fail moment. And then me personally. I'm gonna fire a bolt. Nice. Was that it? You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Thank now, you. To the helm. What was her name? Le Lezel. Gonna take everything I can. Potion of healing, nice. What's this? Oh. Mind my step. No! Oh. <laughs> I thought I thought it was gonna eat me. Tentacle Aquarium. Restoration. Did I research that? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, there's another imp there. I feel nice. better. Dead thrall. Simple robe. Oh, I already have that. And then a short sword. And gold. Okay. Sphincter? Oh, I didn't catch that the first time. That makes it a whole lot worse. Ugh. Okay, auto save. Nice. Is this the helm? Who are you? Oh, sacrificed cultist. Oh, you as well. Can I talk to you? Something's cave machinery. Man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Okay. Who said that? Sigils. Okay, so there's some. Who are you? Okay. We have no time for stragglers. That's rude. Um. Come on. Nice. Warding ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Okay. Are you satisfied? We need to go! Oh my gosh, she's kind of mean. The construction is too alien. Uh. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do oh, you intend my to gosh. die for a stranger? Stop being mean.
the console appears dormant. Wizard. Inscribe the device with glyphs you sense from the pod's warning runes. The console hums to life. Take a closer look at the powered up console. Oh gosh. Nice! The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Okay, open it! She's like dying! Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Uh oh. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Two. So I can do a two. Nice. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. across your mind. You feel sated. Yay! Oh! Nobody caught her? She needs some milk. At last. Oh. Thought I was done for. Can I talk to you? Thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. She's so You're grumpy. Company. It's true, dangerous company is what you need in a fight. And she's with me right now, so I'm not gonna like... Actually, yeah, do you got a problem with... Maybe... No, I think she might be uh, saying that because... She wanted to abandon her, so... Fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. Okay. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? Yeah. Shadowheart. One moment. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to Says. the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Says something that sounds not trustworthy. appear in your mind a brain a git yankee warrior and centuries of darkness a little brain walked by am i supposed to kill it or something you get away what are you doing maybe it's just happy to be around i don't know we are nearing the helm oh What's inside do as no, i, I don't want to go in yet who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. <laughs> okay, so that's the helm. I'm not gonna go in there yet. Um. Because I need to figure out whatever this is. I don't know if I need to like awaken the cultists, but I, I don't know. woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Okay. Get out of the pod. My advice. Dazed woman is trapped. Okay. Vicious chairs all over. 
go over here. Ew, that little brain. <laughs> Stop, I don't like it. Gold. I'm it's taking it. Controls next to the pod. Another brain. Two potions. Oh, wait. Should I just push it? Oh, sigil. Perfect. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Uh-oh. Did I do something wrong? Oh. 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 I am so sorry. Ah! Uh. Change her. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. I don't want that fate. I also... I'm so that sorry. Be our fate. I am so sorry that I did that to you. Can I kill it? The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Oh god. Should I open it or something? The newborn mind okay. flayer. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I did something wrong or what the deal is. I don't know if, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to do them, like, in, like, order of, like, what goes first. Like, does aggression come first, and then you unleash, and then you annihilate? Or is it, like, do I just do them in order? Just gonna... Oh. Sorry. Um. Push. What about... Push that one. No? What do you have? Can you do something? Guiding bolts? Bleed for me. Noise. Um, I don't know if I pressed the wrong thing. And that's like why they became hostile. Maybe there was nothing I could have done. I don't know. If it was a puzzle, I didn't really get it. <laughs> Let's go through the sphincter. Oh, hello. <gasps> no. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. That's not a good way to go. Okay. Oh, no. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. We need to get out of here now. Who am I fighting? <laughs> am I fighting that nasty boy, the one that called me a thrall, or no? I'm fighting these guys. Interesting. Got to keep fighting. You. Oh, okay. So she has like magic and stuff too. Let's use your. She's your guiding bolt. Because I know that'll kill him regardless. Nice. Now let's have you go over here. I will ascend. And then you. Make way. Okay. Got to press on. Time to strike. My path be true. Before they strike. Okay, I'm trying. So, oh, why am I so low on health? Oh gosh. This one in theory should get killed. Yeah. Nice. And then let's have you come up here. No offense, but we're slaying. Is this thing still in today? Oh, it's dead. Okay. Oh, that's the transponder. Okay. My path be true. Gotcha. Come a little oh, closer. they would. Oh, 
Oh, he's not doing so good. Time to press ahead. Ready. Have to keep going. Time to strike. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. Dragon. Why does she die? <laughs> My hands are sweating. I'm so nervous. Are we in space? Scene ended. I don't know where we're going from there. What about that one tentacle guy? That was scary. Are we in space? Hello. Said, huh. Let me out. <laughs> they kill me. Jump. Ew. Sorry. <gasps> did I mean for that to happen or did a Rock just bludgeoned me off the ledge. That was pretty spooky. Where are my friends? As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Ew. I'm gonna look around first. The chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. You'll need to find a settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. Yeah. The makes tadpole sense. is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. No. Where are my friends? Uh, <gasps> updated journal, find a cure. Well, I would like to see my friends again. Let me have a look, a little looks here around. We're in a much more pleasant area now, though, I will say. That little sphincter sh ship was not the most pleasant of places. So yeah, this looks nice. Oh, is this a sphincter ship in question? Okay. Well, I think that that probably concludes this episode. I'm enjoying it so far. I I'm enjoying like how cinematic it is and the cutscenes. Um I've never played a game, like a video game that has had like D&D &D elements into it, but I'm liking it so far. I like the little dice rolling mechanic. I'm still getting used to like the combat and stuff, but I think that'll just kind of come with time. But yeah, I'm excited to see where we go. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get a little reunion with my 
with my gal pals that I was in the sphincter ship with, but maybe they died. I don't know. Um, they didn't seem to get along very well, but maybe they're out there working together. Oh, oh, that's not a heart. Oh, let's go. Let's go do this first. Actually, you know what? We'll leave it. We'll leave it for next time. Alrighty. Well, thank you for watching.